hell of a good job. Did I make that clear? You, you did. I don't know if I proved that yet, but... Uh, yeah, well, no, <laughs> you I mean, you are good for your age. And, uh, <laughs> well, I want to know, the 21 Club, you were at lunch with Alan Ball in 21 Club. The whole world wants to know, how was yeah. the soul? The Dover <laughs> soul. How was the soul? <laughs> yeah. You better explain that to the people. No, the 21 Club, it was just a legend in a dreamland to me when I was out in Nebraska. And I read books like, uh, all, all the books I could find about New York, a great one called Empire City. And every great living writer had a collected piece in that book uh, about New York, one on Chinatown, this and that, the crime. And there was one about 21 and how Walter Winchell, a name that will go over the heads of your young friends, uh, and Sinatra's table. But they put us in the basement. <laughs> if you get your times from a few days ago, you'll read this. It's a wonderful piece. It's a great piece. I, I, I say that without, uh, while being part of it. With yeah. All the modesty. And people said they laughed so many times reading it. I'm not sure where at what point. There were a few zingers tossed back and forth. Did the times pick up the tab? Yes. In fact, <laughs> when they brought the menu downstairs, Alec had a salad and something and something in there. The guy had, you know, he said, the driest white wine you have. I'm going to start saying that from now on. <laughs> and uh, he ordered a, a, sand a, yeah. a sandwich. So I couldn't resist saying, I'll have the Dover Soul at $78. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it was. $78. Well, what a bargain. It from, they've got to ship it from Delaware. So that's uh, a... Well, and poor Mr. Salzberger is going to have to spring for that $78. So. Glad to see my digital subscription fee is going to good use. Uh, good one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you are so adept at breaking new conversational ground with your guests on your show, getting them to open up in front of the camera in ways that they never did for anyone else. Uh, in that spirit, I thought I'd start off with a question that I really hope has never been asked of you before because it's so terribly unsophisticated. <laughs> Uh, let me guess what it is. Uh, what's your favorite color? It's, and this is a truly a question I'm fascinated to answer. Why Dick? You were born Richard Alva Cabot. At what point did you switch to Dick? What kind of a question is why Dick? <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Because it's fun? Well, why Dick? I mean, Dick's an interesting name. I've always been fascinated by this name growing up in the generation that I had when it's taken a, a different meaning. Uh, yeah, oh, you're days. using Dick as a noun, not a, I mean, as a, never mind. <laughs> well, as a, Why don't you do something to help <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oliver, oh, Oliver Hardy. <laughs> I, it's, it's an endangered nickname, I think, it's fair to say. I don't okay, think you can find a Dick uh, under 50. Yeah, but it's funny how uh, once uh, I was writing something and the Times was too prissy to use the word I wanted to, so I got out the slang dictionary for the male organ, uh, and turned to that page, and there were at least 320 or more yeah. words, starting with the ones we all know and then others, and just about any noun or any elongated object or anything, yeah. any, everything's in, otherwise innocent words like stick or rod or whatever. Uh, Putts, I think, was one it's, uh, from some foreign language. It is interesting, but, but many, prop, many men's names, your Johnson, your Tom, your Dick, not your Harry in every case, but um, I must remember that. Will you remind me? That's I a good one. I'll write that, that one down. I think after the show, Scott might join that list. Your uh, dad is shocked that he's trying to... Peter O'Toole. He's got the double. Oh, good for you. Do you know where that comes from? I think I read it in one of your oh, books. Oh, you took, you, you wicked boy. <laughs> Throwing it boy. back at you. You clever dick, you. <laughs> um, my knowledge and friendship with Groucho Marx sometimes gets overdone with some people, but it's one of the great things in my life. And I recently found some letters from Groucho that I was afraid I had lost for a time. And I realized that in one of them, I didn't, so to speak, scroll down far enough. It was a real letter. But there was a PS that I had ignored, and it was, have you ever noticed that Peter O'Toole has a double phallic name? <laughs> and I, I had not. <laughs>